We're on a journey through the Bible. We last left off as God had Moses lead the Israelites out of Egypt. We saw the plagues, the first Passover, and then God parted the Red Sea and the Israelites crossed on dry land. And all of God's people walked upon dry land, and we sing Pharaoh, Pharaoh. Now the Israelites are free, and God leads them to Mount Sinai, and they set up camp. God has Moses come up on the mountain to talk to him. God tells Moses what it will look like for God's people to live in relationship with God. One of the things God gives on that mountain is a very special set of rules we call the Ten Commandments. Oh no, not rules! Ugh. I know, I know. We don't like rules. Ugh. Oh come on, rules aren't all that bad. Imagine if there were no rules on the road when people were driving their cars around. No one had to stop at stop signs. It was okay to go whatever direction you wanted to go all over the road. That wouldn't be better, right? Well, those rules are okay. Those rules keep us safe. But not all those other rules. Okay, what if people were allowed to take whatever they want from you? They could take your video games. They could take your snacks right out of your kitchen. That wouldn't be better either, would it? Those rules are okay too, but still, those rules keep my stuff safe. So that's basically the same thing. God gives us rules because he loves us and he wants us to live better lives. He doesn't want us to get hurt. And there's more than one way to get hurt, right? Hitting, punching, stubbing your toe on a chair leg, pinching, falling off the monkey bars. No, I mean, let's take lying for example. Has anyone ever lied to you? It hurts, right? No one hit you or punched you, but the lying still hurts. And that's one of God's rules, don't lie. There are lots of ways that we can get hurt. Our feelings can get hurt, our friendships can break, and God doesn't want us to get hurt. God's rules are good, and they help us to get hurt less often. Imagine if everyone followed God's rules all the time. Think how much happier we would all be. In the Ten Commandments, God tells us how we should have a relationship with Him and how we should have a relationship with other people. They can actually be summed up into two big rules, love God and love people. When Jesus was asked, Teacher, which is the greatest commandment in the law? Jesus replied, Love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind. This is the first and greatest commandment, and the second is like it. Love your neighbor as yourself. All the law and the prophets hang on these two commandments. God gives us rules because he loves us and he wants us to have better lives. And we love God too. What are some ways you like to show God that you love him? I bet all of those answers are great answers. But did you know that one of the biggest ways we can show God that we love him is by following his rules? That's right. Jesus said, if you love me, you will keep my commandments. God gives us rules because he loves us and he wants us to have better lives. And we follow God's rules because we love him and we trust that he knows best. Do you trust that God knows best? Do you believe that God doesn't want us to get hurt? I've got a challenge for us to help us remember. It's time for a parachute challenge. You'll need a small toy like a Lego man or a small action figure, nothing big or heavy. I made my action figure from a clothespin and a piece of cardboard. He just needs a little face. There we go. Let's see how our people fall without anything to keep them safe. Ow, that didn't go so well. If he was a real person, he'd be hurt. Let's design parachutes to help our people fall safely. Now you'll need your grown-ups help to gather up some supplies that you can make a parachute from. Something like tissue paper, Kleenex, coffee filters. If the first thing you try doesn't work, be ready to try something else. And you'll need some sort of string or ribbon. You'll need scissors. 
and you probably want to have tape to reinforce the holes where you attach the string to the parachute. Here's what I came up with. I used a piece of tissue paper and I put a hole in each corner, pretty far from the edge. I put a piece of tape where I was going to cut the hole to help keep it from tearing. And then I tied a string to each of the corners. Then I attached my strings to my action figure. Yours will look different. You don't need to follow my design. Get creative. Now let's see how our people fall now, now that they have parachutes to keep them safe. God doesn't want us to get hurt. That's why he gave us rules. If my action figure were a real person, he'd have gotten hurt falling without the parachute. But when we gave him a parachute, he was able to fall safely and gently. When we obey the commandments God gives us, we'll live God's way. God's rules help us to live better lives and help us avoid getting hurt. Trust that God knows best and let's do our best to live God's way.